What's the uh, the queen? So how did you achieve the status of royalty? The queen of shitty robots. What's the origin story there? I I mean, I have officially renounced my title now. Can you still speak of the time when you led? I can still speak of the time. Your kingdom? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, it started on, because I... Did you rule by love or fear? By fear of rejection mm. from me, that people <laughs> would reject me. So I, uh, yeah, I started making these little gifts. Like my, the early projects that I did were very gift forward. It was always like I only did it because it could be translated into a GIF. GIF forward, I like it. Yeah, but honestly, <laughs> it was like it's a really good mental exercise to vet if your project is easy enough to be explained by like a seven second looping video without audio, and because like nobody's gonna care that it also has bluetooth yeah. like it's really like is it is it self-explanatory enough to um be explained through a gif so if yeah I just pause i'm sorry to interrupt but no, go i it. feel like all scientific papers and projects should go through that exercise <laughs> can it How be explained as a gif <laughs> yeah actually a deep mind does a good job of this like you know this we've solved protein folding here's a gif <laughs> That's literally what they do. Yeah. Because who's going to read the nature paper? Mm -hmm. So like this, you have to, like, how do we communicate this visually in a sexy, clean way where people can intuitively understand, even if you don't know what a protein is, even if you don't know what protein folding is. Yeah. It's no, a cool it's exercise. it's very like, yeah, if somebody comes out of context, and that's been really interesting also, like, building this product business and trying to do the marketing around that. And I'm like... If somebody comes in and they have no idea about what this product is, will they get it explained to them in this ad? And I, I don't know, but it's definitely a worthwhile exercise to do. So I started making these projects that got translated into GIFs, and I posted them on slash r slash shitty robots on Reddit. So that subreddit existed? Yeah. And I loved it. I thought it was really fun. And I was like, I want to contribute with content here. You conquered it. I don't. I mean, okay. I don't know. I was Through voted, I think I was voted top user of 2015. So oh. yeah, that's an old merit. But Once you win a Nobel out. Prize, you always have the Nobel Prize. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what was the first, do you remember the early gifts that you created? So this is when I was at Punch Through Design in San Francisco. I was kind of building a lot of hardware projects for them, but I also felt, and they were so supportive of me, but I also, it's such a different way representing a brand versus representing yourself. So there were some projects that I just like ruled out because I was like, this feels too weird for this brand. And I started building them on the side. One of them was a toothbrush helmet. And yeah, so it's like a skateboard helmet with a robot arm on the forehead, kind of like a unicorn horn. Mm -hmm. And it brushes your teeth for you. Was that the first YouTube video you uploaded? It was the first gift that I uploaded. So actually, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to do a kids show about electronics in Sweden because I was like, I love electronics. I think it's fucking dope. I could do a kids show about it. So I sh filmed this terrible, terrible pilot episode mm -hmm. in my bedroom in San Francisco. And that's when I built the toothbrush helmet and I emailed it to them. I mean, just cold email, like I had no in or anything. But I was like, hey, I want to do this. And um, they didn't get back to me. Nobody surprised. And I was like, well, I have this thing I built. I might as well post it on the internet. So that's why I made the little GIF and I posted it on slash r slash shitty robots. And I think it got like 50,000 views. And I was like, wow. And from there, I just kept on building things. And I think within six months, it was my full-time job. Can you go through the detailed design of this toothbrush helmet? There's a motor... <laughs> It's like a server, like what? What? How, what's the motor? What's the, is an Arduino involved? Yeah, so I built it off of um, this robot arm called Me Arm. So it's just this acrylic robot arm. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it has three servo motors. And it's all controlled by an Arduino, all the so electronics. the arm is already pre-built? It was a kit, so I assembled it. How do you make sure the the length of the arm is the proper... I mean, the uh, arm came down, so it's like, yeah. I mean, I just programmed it to come down to my mouth and then poorly brush my front teeth. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just swung back and forth. I mean... <laughs> Trial and error. Is Trial and error? What was the yeah. challenges of that? 
Do you remember? Oh God! Or was that one not uh, much of a struggle? The challenge? No, it was definitely a struggle. Because um, also, how do you loop it with a nice gift? I mean, it loops. It loops fine. Yeah, it loops it's pretty like, fine. Yeah. Or is that that's not that's not that hard? Uh, no. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a gift. It's the internet. Things yeah. are shitty all the time. I think. I mean, I think the biggest struggle of that was that I had this intention for it to be this show, and then them not <laughs> giving. Oh yeah, yeah, giving back, and I was like, "Well, if they don't want it, then (laughs) maybe YouTube will have me." They don't notice my genius yet. 